The four photos you are seeing now are the culminative effort of me trying to take pictures in the rain, deciding against it, and then regrouping upstairs. I started today's walk with the intention of trying something unusual in weather that was certainly less than ideal for most people. I had my Takamar 200mm f4 on my Fuji X-E4. A pretty cool pairing, I think. However, when it came to the execution, I lasted about three minutes in the rain before I went home and reconsidered. After five minutes upstairs, I made the decision not to be a wimp, but I left the more expensive gear at home and went for a walk with my trusty Canon SD-1000, the 15-year-old point-and-shoot camera I got from a second-hand store a couple of months ago. Thankfully, this SD-1000 only cost me $20, and if it gets wrecked, it gets wrecked. No big deal. What I find most appealing about this type of photography is that if you miss the shot, who cares? You're only out to practice anyway. This is one of those videos where I'm not entirely sure I need to do any narration at all. I went out to take photos because it's what I do when I have spare time, even in poor weather, I'm inclined to get out and take photos. It's just a part of me as much as breathing. Anyways, the photos I took today were JPEGs. This camera is only capable of taking 7.1 megapixel photos in JPEG and nothing else. It's breezy when compared to other cameras I own and have owned by a long shot. What's nice about that is you don't ever have to worry about filling up a card. I could take 1,000 or 2,000 photos and it wouldn't even put a dent in a meager 32 gigabyte card. What else is nice is how the post-processing works with JPEGs. Its limitations can be its strength. With raw photos, there is so much that can be done and must be done before the photos look anything like how you saw them in your head when you took them. However, with these JPEGs, they're practically already there. Like film scans, there's only so far you can push them. And like film scans, you can make them look and feel like analog photos with only a few tweaks. It's the textures of an image that really excite me as a photographer, and not always specifically the format. Whenever I shoot, I'm drawn to certain types of locations. Locations that have characteristics that might complement each other in some ways, or completely contrast each other in other ways. Stainless steel and dirty glass, for example neon signs and cracked pavement. When I first started shooting, I had no idea what I was doing or what I was looking for. I found myself underexposing my photos a lot because there was something there that I really enjoyed. It wasn't until later that I knew how to utilize the desire to hide elements in shadow and only show what I want seen. All of this was made possible by the desire to create. The desire to explore and experiment. To test and challenge myself. To learn and, often as importantly, unlearn. Of course, I am aware that I'm using a dinky little camera from 2007 to make this point, but the point stands all the same. You've got to try and then fail, and then try and then fail, in order to progress. 
I'm glad I get to share some of this with you. If you're curious about how I convince myself to get out as often as possible to take photos, let me know in the comments. And if there's a type of video you'd like to see me cover, I'd love to hear it. Please remember to like and subscribe. And until next time, adios.